everyone so today we're going to be trying out this new game um, called lawn mowing simulator I haven't quite tested it out yet but it's free to mow well it was free to play um, they were giving it away free on uh, epic games so I don't think they're giving it out right now but I will try to keep up with you guys and uh, next free game that I think would look kind of interesting I'll definitely try to you know put out a video a little earlier but yeah, this was a free game. I think it goes for around 20 bucks now. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Um, but yeah, pretty much we're going to be doing exactly what the title is. It's going to be, we're going to be um, mowing lawns. So, uh, we'll kick start. Um, it's like pretty much a dream, honestly. Because these lawnmowers are expensive expensive in real life. I would not be able to get look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Oof. So yeah you get to pick your lawnmower you ride on. I think uh, we'll, we'll keep it to bare minimum just to keep it and apparently you can pick your weed whacker. That's cool. So this is about to be a nice little cleanup. Alright, so you could actually pick the uh, cut height of the lawnmower. Um, I guess 4 centimeter would be like the lowest you can go. No time limit. A sunny day, just how we like them. Motor damage, I wonder what that is. But we'll get right to it. Oh, look at that, a little little dino. But yeah, I like testing out these games. Um, hopefully, you guys see some some decent ones on my channel. The last one was actually pretty good. The last game I tested out was pretty fun. So definitely um, check my last video. Um, yeah, you really can't go wrong. This is just every once in a while you find like a little hidden gem. Turmoil, that's what it was, yeah. That was a good game. For the money for the money, I think I'm pretty sure I got it on um I think I bought it from Fanatical off of a mystery bundle. Like at the end when you go into purchase you can like press on um add random key. It's usually like a dollar, two dollars or something. But uh, I usually do that. Look at that. A trailer nice little truck start her up oh yeah that sounds good <laughs> Oh, I see. In order to move, you gotta s set the throttle. I'm wondering what happens. Say you like. Say you like just freaking mow over their their plants. Like what happens? I don't think anything would really happen, right? This ain't gonna be the best cut. I've never actually cut with something like this large. I never even used a ride on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I gotta get a little closer. Yeah, I never used a ride on before. Can I can I set the RPM to a little slower? Oh, there's our cut height. Okay. Mm. 
and cut it short. I'm seeing it doesn't really let you This is going to be some kind of cut, I'll tell you. It's definitely still pretty hard to get close up. You really want to get like all the way up against there. Oh my goodness. This whole time the cutting was not even engaged. Alright, probably for the better. Let's see how it looks. Alright, that is pretty short. Is it, bad? is it bad to switch up now? Yeah, that's pretty short. This whole time the the blades weren't engaged. Again, I'm not used to this whole freaking ride on engaging the blade. You could tell I just literally rolled over. I literally just drove over it and it looks all matted down. Destroy the flower. I'll roll over that bush. This is a pretty cool game though. Relaxing. Laid back. See, and I could be outside sweating it up. Here we are. We're just... Air conditioning, chilling. Just what everyone dreams of, cutting their grass. There we go. Alright, so. This is definitely a long process, but we can get there. See if I could just weed whack those close little side areas. If I got the larger mower, we might have been able to get a little bit more. I totally missed a spot. Look at that. Ooh, roll it right over. I think it's because the bag on the back is so large that I think the cutting area is larger than it actually is. See, like, I missed that. Look at that. I may as well just hit over these spots since we're here. Uh-oh. I got stuck for a second. I guess I'll try to go back and forth at this point. This is what I usually would do. Usually, just get the angle. Like I'll I'll get the like corners, and then I'll go back and forth in straight lines like that. I don't know how every everyone else does it, but kind of like that in real life. Yeah, 
and I say close too. I'll do like because the blades are really small on the on the regular ones. I usually kind of like get it in a half point so I don't miss the spot. See, I should be staying straight, but I'm kind I'm unintentionally angling. So that's not good. And ultimately start just going forward. Just to keep that line. And try. Chip. There we go. That was a direct line we could follow, which I'll follow that with the tire. Yep. Oh, did you see that? Them flowers almost got freaking whacked. Another direct line. We're going to be following that that line that that lawnmower already previously made. This is what I normally do. I just go line to line so every time a tire makes a line you're gonna follow that line over same thing we're trying to line up this is how I do it I don't really know how it's supposed to be done but line up that tire to where the other tire would have been this way it's, it cuts it nice you don't really have to worry that roll back on that same tire print you just made. This way there's no additional tire marks. It's pretty cool though. Definitely, especially cause like, this stuff would be very difficult to pick up. I've never tried one of these out, never rode on one. So overall it seems like a fun experience. Maybe a little sweaty and I could feel the heat already, but Um, but yeah, you see, um, I guess the engine takes damage. Um, let's see. See, the engine takes damage. You could, you could up the throttle. Um, engage the, oh, turn on and off the engine. Engage the height of the, um, you gotta hold it. Engage the height of the, the cutters, the blades. So I was cutting at three and a half. I went over this side just in case. Um, so I'm going to lower the throttle, turn it off, and hold B. Okay. Change cutting blades, fill fuel. That's not bad, dollar. 
you have to look at the fuel when you're um, when you're using it because you could run out of fuel. But I'm sure that wherever the fuel tank is on this thing is, uh, I'm sure it's fairly large. Maybe that little thing on the side there. I have no idea. This is something I've never even never even really looked at before. All right. So there's our lawn so far. 30% complete. I think I should have left the grass a little bit longer. I kind of <laughs> scrubbed it up by uh, doing 3.5. I think it's a little short. But also I think that the detail of the grass itself is a little odd. No, we missed a few spots. Um, yeah, we're going to test out this weed whacker. See, how, see if we can touch it up a little bit. What we did. String trimmers are great for cutting along the edges of lawns up against objects on tight spaces. Oh, I didn't even know we had it in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, so we're going to do a touch-up with this. I shouldn't even have to get close with my my lawnmower then. Basically, I'll be able to touch up anything I messed up. As you could tell, if I missed any spots, just go along it with it with this. Look at that. Eh, not really what it's, what it's meant for, but... I missed a couple spots over there, so let's touch those up. Nice. Ooh, I like how this cuts. I wish it cuts like that in real life. <laughs> Gotta get a real freaking weed whacker for that. Quick little touch ups. Make sure the. Ooh, you saw that? I think it almost sliced it. Make sure the uh, the client is happy. Trim up them sides. It's okay. We left a little bit of extra. Screw it. This is pretty fun. Weed Whacker is the funnest part. It's like the little touch-ups you could do to everything. Make it look good. Ooh, almost, almost sliced up a branch. Same thing with my actual garden. Definitely don't want to get too close to the to the flowers or now we're gonna as we normally would, we're just gonna check up everything. See that's a little high. He's a little high. We're gonna go back over all this. I don't think we touched this area up. doesn't always make a sound for the cut which is a little odd but
this back. I think we did fairly well. All right. Again, this is um, this is a lawn mowing simulator. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Um, you know, if you like this video, please leave a like and um, subscribe if you can. Thank you again, everyone. Um, my first trade, my Robin Hood, are at the bottom. Uh, if you want me to do more videos like this, just let me know on um, what games you'd like to see reviewed. Overall, it's a pretty solid game. I would definitely just keep on <laughs> cutting. And um, yeah, I don't mind. It's, it's a decent game. It's just good free game, free game at the time, so good pickup. Uh, if I see any more through Epic, I'll definitely try to update you guys, let, let everybody know what's free, and, um, you know, try to let everyone know, get, get them in on it before it's no longer free. In this case, sadly, Lawnmower Simulator is no longer free on Epic Games. Um, they have another one, I think it's like Cooking Something. Probably not something I'd be interested in, but um, I think it's like every like once a month or something, or however Epic Games tries to do like a free giveaway uh, for particular games. Um, my library has pretty much doubled or tripled because of all the free games that Epic Games is giving out every month or so. So I check back in every time. Uh, yeah, make sure you check in Epic Games for their free game giveaways, because I've gotten Ark Survival at one point, I've gotten um, Grand Theft Auto, the Premium Edition, for free, um, you know, I've gotten a lot of games through them, so definitely check it out, um, they usually have like a Christmas uh, promotion where they give out every day a free game, I'm pretty sure, but like, Toward the beginning, it's good, and toward the end, it's good. But toward the middle, it's they sometimes just give out like indies, but sometimes the indie games are pretty good. So you know, keep an eye out definitely if you're looking for new game titles um, or just titles in general, just so you have like a nice little library going. Uh, definitely check out Epic Games. All right, thank you again, everyone, for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and keep on mowing.